Hi everyone, welcome, I'm Steph. Today I'm using this pink and green yarn in a colour and weave pattern for a project bag. I'm using black and white photography to make sure that the colours are high contrast and they are and this is the result. Here I'm warping up the loom. I'm putting all of the pink threads in the holes and the green threads in the slots and this is going to create the colour and weave pattern that I'm looking for today. This thread is 7-2, very close to an 8-2 yarn and I'm doubling this in a tendon read. Now I'm just doing a quick check to make sure I haven't missed any slots or holes and then I'll be ready to wind on. Here I'm winding direct onto the warping peg to make sure that I've got nice tight tension. Once everything is wound on, I'm just knotting all of the ends um, so that I can use the lash on technique to tie the warp onto the front beam. Here I'm spreading the warp using some scrap yarn um, and a fairly firm beat to beat that all into a nice straight line. And now we weave. I'm just using the green colour in the warp to create a pink dot in green fabric colour and weave pattern, which I think is so pretty. we've just got the last few inches of warp left so I'm just doing a couple of picks of scrap yarn to secure the warp. Now that that's all secure, I just cut little groups of threads off the loom and then knot them to secure the fabric. Now that that's knotted all across the top, this is my favourite part pulling the fabric off the loom. The fabric feels soft but heavy also, which is perfect for a bag. Now I'm going to soak the fabric in some hopped soapy water. This helps to get rid of any machine oils, etc. And then give it a quick rinse. Whilst that's drying, I've got an Aussie intermission for you. Tincan Bay is just a few hours north of Brisbane and there's this little place where you can have breakfast and also feed the wild dolphins. There is a small fee and this goes towards the feed and also the wildlife carers who are volunteers. This is Juno. Isn't he gorgeous?
I'm using some lightweight interfacing. Um, it's iron-on, so it's so easy. This will just stiffen the fabric and make it better for a bag. Once this is all ironed on, I can then safely cut the ends without having to sew them. Here I am sewing an open hem at both ends of the fabric, folding it in half and then sewing up the sides. But when I sew up the sides, I'm stopping before I get to the hem because I wanna do a drawstring bag um, top using ribbon. I'm measuring two and a half centimeters um, in a box where the ends of the bottom of the bag are on both sides. I'm trimming this and then sewing the edges together to box the bottom of the bag. Here I'm measuring two lengths of silk ribbon and I'm going to thread them through so that the ends are in the opposite direction to each other so that when you pull them it becomes a drawstring bag. absolutely thrilled with how this bag turned out and I just want to make a heap more now. Um, if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe. This will help others find my video um, and also help you to see my next videos. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Mm -hmm.